there's a lot going on here when we're talking about uh, the call to worship and, and the benediction and whatnot. Um, but really, it all begins, and it needs to, when we start thinking about the examples that we have in Scripture. Uh, it begins with, with covenant theology and, and, more broadly speaking, covenant history, doesn't it? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, the, yeah worship is a covenantal event, and that's one of the things I emphasize uh, repeatedly in the class is the covenantal nature of worship. And let, let me just say this too, if, if listeners haven't read the directory for public worship that the OPC has uh, published, it's available at our website, opc.org. Uh, there's a tab at the top that says standards or something like that. If you look down at the Book of Church Order, you'll find the directory for public worship there. The first two chapters of the directory for public worship are fantastic. And they really emphasize the covenantal nature of worship. And to a lesser degree, they emphasize the eschatological nature of worship. But that's another uh, that's another topic I like to discuss too in the class. Worship is both uh, covenantal in nature and eschatological in orientation, right? It's uh, the covenant is dynamic. It's telos is uh, consummate communion with God in a state of glory. And so maybe it would be helpful if we're going to talk about two of the uh, parts of the service of worship, the, the first part, the call to worship, and the final part, the benediction. Maybe it would be helpful to describe uh, those elements in terms of what worship is. You know, what is worship? Uh, worship is covenant communion with God through his ordinances. God has appointed certain ordinances of worship, and he communes with us, and we commune with him. He is our God and we are his people. And a, a service of public worship is a meeting between the two parties of the covenant for the purpose of having communion uh, with God. God calls us into his presence to have communion with him. And we have communion with him through his ordinances of worship. So that's what worship is. It's covenant communion with God, between God and the people of God. 